scratching away in there. Look. I'll take the gag off, okay? You got me all wrong, kiddo. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm gonna rip you apart from the inside out. Do you understand me? Such anger, young Skywalker. Who are you really angry with? Me? Or that face in the mirror? I'm sure this is all a big joke to you, huh? Not at all. I've been waiting for you for a long, long time. Come on, Sam. You have to admit, you can feel it, right? What? The exhilaration. And you know why that is? Because we're two halves made whole. M-F-E-O. Literally. This feels pretty damn far from good. I'm inside your grapefruit, Sam. You can't lie to me. I see it all. How odd you always felt. How... out of place in that... Family of yours. And why shouldn't you have? They were foster care, at best. I'm your real family. No, it's not true. It is. And I know you know it. All those times you ran away, you weren't running from them. You were running towards me. <sighs> this doesn't have to be a bad thing, you know. I let Dean live, didn't I? I want him to live. I'll bring your folks back, too. I want you to be happy, Sam. I don't want anything from you. Really? Not even a little payback. What's that supposed to mean? Look closely. None of these little devils look familiar to you? That's Mr. Bensman. One of my grade school teachers. And that's your friend Doug from that time in East Lansing. And Rachel. Your prom date. Sam Winchester, this is your life. Azazel's gang watching you since you were a rug rat. Jerking you around like a dog on a leash. I know how you feel about them. Me too. So what do you say you and I blow off a little steam? <laughs>